We're here in Assen bringing you live coverage of the MotoGP class Dutch Grand Prix. The weather forecasts are very reassuring. We will have sunny weather for the entire duration of the race. Just a few minutes to go until the Grand Prix begins. Assen, the motorbike university, is once again ready to put everyone to the test. It's time for Assen. Marquez on pole, and the lights go out. A good start from Cal Crutchlow. I'm not sure Marquez got away so well in the initial stages, but he's got it hooked up now. And as they charge in towards turn one, it is Marquez with the start he needed. He gets the whole shot. Look at Lorenzo around the outside of everybody. Lorenzo's come from 10th. He's up the inside now of Cal Crutchlow at turn two. Jorge Lorenzo, what a start by the race winner in Michello of Barcelona. He's come from 10th to second. Brilliant by Lorenzo. Where did that come from? Oh, critical there that Marquez got through turn five as well. Unscathed. There's a bit of sitting up there, but yeah, what a start for Jorge Lorenzo. And now he winds up the power on that Italian machine. But it is Mark Marquez that leads down the Vinchlag. De Vizioso, it looks like he's moved up into third place now as well, past Cal Crutchlow. Lorenzo just rode around the outside of everybody. Mark Marquez in that first corner. Brilliant. Crutchlow can't find a way through as yet on Davizioso. Rossi's been pushed back a couple of places from third to fifth. What about the start for Maverick Vinales? Again, it's a poor one, a sluggish one. He's dropped from sixth to ninth place, so work to do again for Vinales in the early stage of this oh, race. Is Lorenzo attacking? Oh, he yeah. is! Inside of Marquez, that's going to be super, super tight. He's got the inside line, leans on Marquez. That's brilliant by Lorenzo. He leads for the third race in a row on the Ducati. Oh, he's looking for the treble, although he just makes a bit of an error there on the edge, uh, on the exit. And here comes Mark Marquez again. He didn't like that move. And here he comes. This is so quick. He can't get through, though. A bit wide is Lorenzo We're here on the opening lap, and the crowd are going to go mad. They won't believe their eyes. Number 99 it is that's going to lead across the line at the end of lap one. Sure, Marquez's right hand there touched Lorenzo's left knee. We know how weak Lorenzo's been in that fourth sector, but he was able to hold up Mark Marquez on that first lap. A breathtaking first lap by Oi Lorenzo. He's come from 10th to lead here in Assen. We were hoping that Valentino Rossi and Cal Crutch and Andrea David Joseph could get the lightning start to make a race of it. But it's Jorge Lorenzo from row four that's taken the lead astonishingly. Look at the speed that Marquez has got. So some places there in sector one, but there's a defensive line taken from Marquez. Rossi now is closing up on the tail of Mar Marquez. His Ducati Honda Yamaha as we head down onto the Vinchlang straight. And look at the power of the Ducati as it roars past and away from Mar Marquez. He knows he's got to have this gap, though, in the first two or three sectors as Valentino Rossi tries to find a way through, swarming all over the rear tire Mar Marquez. Will Marquez try and attack Lorenzo in that fourth sector? All weekend in sector four, Lorenzo's been as much as four tenths of a second slower than the rest of the field. He's found something in terms of stability, though, in that final sector for the race, and he still leads the way. Crutchlow hasn't been able to find his way back through, and Andrea Vizioso. Crutchlow started second, he's in fifth place, with the two Suzukis of Alex Rins and Andrea Gennady behind him. Vinales has picked up one place, but he's only in eighth place. Can't make any significant inroads towards the top three. And here's Lorenzo, then still leading. Here comes Mark Marquez. This has been his territory. Oh, what a move from Marquez up the inside into turn 15. Is he going to go back on the brakes here, Jorge Lorenzo? No, he's not. And that is why he's had the advantage, the speed he carried there. He ramps it up the inside of Lorenzo at ramp shot. What a brave, brave move by Mark Marquez. Davizioso trying to find a way through on Rossi going into the first corner. Rossi, though, as we know, demon late on the brakes. There's no way through for Andrea Davizioso. Now, Mark Marquez with clear track in front of him. He's had rhythm and pace all weekend to potentially break up the field. Can he do it now? He's hit the front for the first time. Into turn five we go. Marquez, Lorenzo, Rossi, Davizioso, then it's Cal Crunchlow. We're on board now with the champion, Marc Marquez, the race leader. Onto the back straight. That's Jorge Lorenzo we're looking at as we now go into turn six and seven. And is he going to try the same thing that he tried on the opening lap? And the Suzuki's piling the pressure on Cal Crunchlow there. Alex Rins last time around 
was the fastest man on the circuit in sixth place. Alex Rins on the podium here before with Moto3 and Moto2. And he's really putting pressure on Cal Crutch, though. Can't find a way through at turn nine. The ball, top end of the circuit now. They sweep through Mandeve for the third time of asking. It's Marquez from Lorenzo. Sensational start from Jorge Lorenzo. Valentino Rossi started third. He's just sitting in third place right now. Davizioso started fourth. That's exactly where he is. Crutch low. You know, need green to Vinales coming back in the contention just at the top of your picture there. So here we are then in the fastest part of the circuit. Look at that. Turn 15 is where Marquez is making up all that time. He won't allow them to be close enough to then pull the pin into the chicane. There's Valentino Rossi in third with that soft rear tyre. Marquez just being told of the group behind him. Yeah, fastest lap of the race, look from Marquez at 134.478, but a tenth and a half, quicker than Jorge Lorenzo behind him. Interestingly now, Lorenzo did still stick with that hard option rear tyre. Now, if he can hang in with Mark Marquez, there's not a lot of difference in performance and lap times between the hard and the soft, but you feel normal conventional wisdom would suggest that Lorenzo, if he can hang in there, would have the better grip at the end of the race. That's brilliant by Alex Rins, that's aggressive by Alex Rins. He's forced his way through on Cal Crutchlow at Shrubin. So Alex Rins at turn five takes P5 from Crutchlow. Oh, look at the speed of Jorge Lorenzo through turn six. Sean got into turn seven. I thought he was going to pull off some move there. It's so quick into T7. But crucially, Steve, at this stage of the race, Marquez has not been able to open up any kind of clear daylight between himself and Jorge Lorenzo. Lorenzo's having a move at turn nine at the ball. That's brilliant by Jorge Lorenzo. He crashed there on Friday did Jorge Lorenzo. Marquez tries to strike straight back, but Lorenzo's got the inside line going into Mandeville. Not many people saw this one coming. A tight line there from Marquez. He has to sit up and out of it. He might just fall into the hands, though, now of Valentino Rossi, who's right on his tail. Jorge Lorenzo leads through sector four, but this is the part of the circuit now as we flick left where Mark Marquez in a moment will close up on Jorge Lorenzo. Will he be close enough to make a move? No, Rossi's now coming through. Davizioso's there as well. What a race so far. Here comes Rossi at the tip of chicane on Mark Marquez. That was such a controversial moment between the two of them back in 2015. Rossi finds a way through up in the second place. So Mark Marquez started this lap leading. He's been pushed back into third place. And Davizioso now attacks Mark Marquez. And Davizioso's got the inside line. That was really, really tight. Marquez stands firm. He's rock solid, but Marquez getting a little bit, surprise, surprise, beaten up here. Yeah, well, they had to get in there, didn't they, and yeah, try and rub him up, up and that's exactly what's happening here at the moment. On board with Andrea de Vizioso. That's the tail of Marc Marquez, and he thought about it again. On to the back straight we go. It's Lorenzo, Rossi, Marquez, Dovi. Yeah, then it's Alex Rins, Cal Crutchlow, and Andrea you know, Maverick Vignal is still in eighth place. He's only 1.3 seconds, though, off the race lead at the moment. It's been an awful, awful first few laps for Danny Pedrosa. He's down in 19th place at the moment, nowhere near the points of Pedrosa. And look at the gap already that Lorenzo and Rossi have been able to establish once they found their way through on Mark Marquez. Classic Timur Chicane breaking move by Rossi on Marquez last time around. And at this stage of the race, Marquez doesn't look particularly comfortable with that uh, soft rear tyre. What you've got to say? He's, he's been knocked out of his rhythm slightly. He's got faster pace than this. The pace actually isn't very... Oh! A massive moment there! And how have they both stayed up? I think that somehow did Lorenzo miss a gear? Rossi clatters into the back of him. Well, something happened to Lorenzo there, surely. I mean, Rossi just... What a time to be on board with Jorge Lorenzo. Rossi just ploughed into the back of him. There's no way that Rossi had the better speed. Somebody was wide there. It was that Andrea Gannoni at the final chicane? Oh, that was fifth gear, possibly sixth gear, flat down. And there's the problems. Is there something dangling down from Rossi's bike? Well, I'm not sure. Was huge. It was massive contact. Can't believe Rossi stayed on. Can't believe Lorenzo stayed on. I'm not sure if there was something the Vizioso's got Marquez in all the drama. What a first five laps it's been here. On lap six in Aston, and the Vizioso's found his way through on Mark Marquez. We are being treated to a classic Dutch TT. Oh, Marquez and Shruben. That's brilliant. That's ruthless. That's merciless from Marquez. He pounces straight back on Andrea de Vizioso. Marquez back into the top three. Well, this is an extraordinary race so far. Lorenzo leads then from Rossi. What on earth happened just a moment ago between those two? And how did they both stay up? Alex Rins has got some really good pace. Don't count him out, number 42. And Maverick Vinales is coming into contention as well. This now, is what happened. Let's have a look as they exit. Lorenzo just seems to lose all sort of speed here. Rossi's oh, closing he up on him. He lost the front. What a moment for Jorge Lorenzo. What a moment. Well, How did he stand? Look at that. 
the rear seat unit, you can see the impact that Valentino Rossi made. I don't know how on earth Lorenzo stayed on. Losing the front through Bovenbeer and Hoga Heider. That is in excess of 250 kilometers an hour. Rossi's about to pounce, is he? Can he get close enough this time around? Oh, I still can't believe Lorenzo saved that. That was a Mark Marquez save, probably even better at the speed he was doing. Astonishing, incredible by Lorenzo, saving a century. I'll tell you what, we've got 20 laps to go of this. I'll have 50 of them if it's possible across the line. Lorenzo, Rossi, Marquez, Dovi, Rins, Crunchlow, and Vinales is the quickest of the lot. He is, yeah, fastest lap of the race has just been thrown in by Mavic Vinales at 134-133. Mistake from Lorenzo on the exit there of turn one, and they're all going to bunch up again. Lorenzo's having a few twitchy moments, more than a few twitchy moments on that front tyre. Is Rossi going to strike us through? But Rossi, no, he thought about it. Rossi coming under pressure. Rossi's Marquez. Marquez. Yeah, he was wide. He just got in a fraction too hot there. And Mark Marquez, he needs no second invitation. You give Mark Marquez an inch, he's going to take a mile. Good stuff from Mark Marquez then on the last couple of laps. And Dobby's through now on Valentino Rossi as well. It's been a shaky lap this from Valentino. He drops down to fourth now. So it's Lorenzo, Marquez, Davizioso, and Vinales now starting to get into the groove. He's getting seriously racy, Barry Vinales. It was Andrea Iannone on the Suzuki that made a mistake at the Timber Chicane a couple of laps ago because that's dropped Iannone off this lead group. What a breathtaking, breathless first six and a half laps this has been. Lorenzo then still leads the way. He starts this run back now through the fastest most famous section of this acid course. This was where he lost the front. Name of the fans on their victory lap. Let's take a look at the final ranking of today's race. While he was hoping for a win today, third place is still a good result when you're up against riders of this caliber. Here are the stars of the day, enjoying a round of applause from the team and fans. Everyone gave it their all today. You can't deny that these riders were on another level.